Alright, so a couple of videos ago, we picked 10 watermelons. Nine of them which were crimson sweet, and this is one of the nine crimson sweets. And we're going to cut it open and hope for the best. Oh, it jumped open, huh? Yeah, it looks like it's red. Oh, yeah. Awesome. It smells delicious. Sweet. How full is it? Yeah, you do them all? Yeah, it's empty. See? Okay. Oh, so good. It's a real good one? Mm-hmm. All right. This one's better than the other ones. Oh, yeah? Mmm. That is like, that's the best one, huh? Mm hmm. Mmm. Alright, so we have another one and we're gonna cut this one open too. Well, that one's there. hard, huh? Oh, it's oh. jumping open. This is like my favorite part <laughs> cutting open the watermelon. <laughs> Just waiting and then it's ripe. My favorite part is eating that. Oh, nice. look at that. Wow, it's got a big seed cluster. Yeah. That's weird good. looking. It's a trip how the lines of seeds are different in all of these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the bird wants in there. Mmm. This one's delicious. Cool. It's a little bit more tart than the other one, mm -hmm. but it's still awesome. It's got it's got little pieces in there that are lighter pink, huh? Mm-hmm. It's crisper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The flavor's better on the other one. All right, so we're gonna move this one. All right, so this is the last of the ten crimson sweets that we picked. It's a little smaller than the last two, huh? Yeah. So we're gonna hope we finish off with the real ripe watermelon. Oh. Oh, it's jumping open. Yeah, whenever it like starts cutting and then it cracks open by itself, that's also how you know if it's ripe. Nice. A little bit smaller, but still a perfect pink. Mmm. This is the best of all three. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Cool. It's somewhere in between this it one is. and this one. It's got crispness, but it's sweet too, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.